Hello, it's Tony Messer here at PickerWeb and I've got a great video for you and I'm going to show you exactly how to install a blog on your website. It's very straightforward uh, and very quick and very easy. Now, the reason that you may be interested to have a blog is because the search engines like Google, they absolutely love websites which add new content on there and a blog uh, like a WordPress blog allows you to actually do that. They're very easy to use, very easy to maintain. It used to be that you would need a web designer maybe to, to build your website and update text and that would be quite expensive but with a, with a blog you are very much in control and you can update it as much as you like. So here we are, we're in the web hosting control panel and all we need to do is just go down to this little happy smiley face here that says Fantastico Deluxe and all this is is a little section that has some pre-installed programs and it's very very easy to install them. So the one we're going to do is this one here which is WordPress under the blogs heading. So we just click on the option there for WordPress and um, then we just click on new installation and that will begin the installation process. Now before we um, go any further let me just point out um, this point here. It says install on domain or install on directory and all this means is that you can either set up your blog to either be your website itself so in this case it would be www.tonysdemoblog.co.uk but let's say that you already have a, a website already and you don't want to overwrite that you just want to create a small section of your website which will be dedicated to your blog and all you would do is to create a little directory and call that blog okay so um, in this case though I'm just going to set it up as if it was my own main website so all we need to do is just enter some basic details in here so let me quickly do that for you now so all we've done is we've created an administrator with a password we've given the um, admin a nickname entered the email address that we can send the login details to if we ever lose them um, the actual domain name of the site itself and then just a quick description and we just click on install WordPress and that will start the process we then get a second uh, page that just confirms it's being installed. Just click on finish installation and this will complete the installation for us. And there we are, we're all done. So it's probably worth just um, making a quick note of this, just copying it and just keeping it safe um, somewhere. So let's quickly go to the actual uh, login area of the blog itself. So we're presented with this and we just need to enter our username and password. So I'm just going to quickly do that and log in. And here we are, we've logged in and this is the administration area of WordPress. So to actually view the blog itself, we just go up here and click on visit site. And you'll see here, this is the um, initial page that we've got. I know it doesn't look too inspiring. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly add a what's called a WordPress theme and make it look really fantastic. So just bear with me a sec. So to do this, we just quickly log back into the administration area. And then we click on here where it says appearance. And you'll see that this theme here is installed. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and get a free WordPress theme. Now there's um, there's some different um, uh, websites out there where you can access them. WooThemes.com, for example, or WordPressThemesBase.com. Those are two of them. And all you do is just select the theme that you like, click on download, and just save it to your PC. You don't need any um, software or anything. It just saves it as a zip file, and you don't even need the WinZip software. All you need to do is just save the file to your hard disk, and I'll then show you what you need to do with it. So back back in WordPress um, admin area we just select this option here add new themes we select that and then we select the option here upload and then we go, I'm just going to browse onto my hard disk and just retrieve the file that we've just saved so I've uh, I've got the file located and I just click on install now you'll then get a confirmation that um, it has uploaded and you can just preview it or you can activate it. So let's activate it straight away. And you'll see there it is. So now let's go and have a quick look at the site and see how that looks. There we are. Wow, I've just, you know, uploaded a free theme and the uh, the the blog is already looking fantastic. So all we need to do now is just start um adding some some content to it. Um also you can change the theme whenever you want to. It's just as easy. You just select another theme and just overwrite it. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much then. Bye-bye.